Welcome to this video. Yep, new game here against Gren. Okay, I played this guy before in 15 minutes and lost. I have no memory about that. Hmm. Not sure if I'm <clears throat> if this is even on video. I sometimes play games some um, just um just without any recording so don't know if this is um documented on the channel it's kind of funny <laughs> the game before that in the 15 minute pool also was against a norwegian player with a very um similar rating this time we got e5 so let's see okay he's taking on d4 that's an interesting variation that um, I don't know very well. Yeah, Black's idea is to quickly um, attack in the center with d5. I know that king h1 is the right move. Ah, yeah, and now he goes a6. Hmm. <laughs> king h1 because this uh, b6 g1 diagonal is sometimes sensitive. Um, a6, yeah, mm. black can play with b5 sometimes. Yeah, the, the normal looking most obvious move is something like bishop g5. Just developing this piece pinning the knight. Hmm, I wonder, is there? Okay. Looks normal. Also moves like knight b3 come to cons come into consideration. Just trying to attack this. Bishop f4 is also a move that I kind of like. Hmm. I wonder if a6 is also in some way preparing the move d5. Hmm. Instead of a6 d5, I think there is cd cd bishop g5. So if I play a move like bishop f4, the move d5 might actually be be feasible. Hmm, yeah, I don't know what is right. Bishop g5, queen a5 is an irritating idea. Queen a5, queen d2, knight takes e4, this kind of thing can be very irritating. Knight e4, f e4 bishop d4 hmm. yeah it looks a bit strange bishop g5 queen a5 okay i have bishop h4 maybe okay i'm putting putting this out it shouldn't be terribly bad i spent ages here right <laughs> wow okay he played quickly probably still knowing what to do yeah, h6 is, of course, quite often useful. Oh, g5. That's a very straightforward way to do it. Okay. Yeah, it weakens f5 very, very considerably. Okay, I didn't want to play bishop g3 and run into knight h5. So this is why I went to f2. Yeah, g5 is for oh, I played this very quickly. I mean, maybe he he's following um, some kind of known variation, but mm, generally speaking, g5 looks uh, quite bad, to be honest. It, it weakens really a lot. Okay, so d5. If I take on d5, let's say, and play queen b3, isn't this good? Just pressurizing this. Yeah. Okay, let's start with the move. 
on top of everything, I'm also much better developed here. So queen b3 was my idea. Is there a drawback? Yeah, it looks fairly logical. It uh, also, I mean, it just attacks d5. If he takes c4, bishop c4, I'm attacking f7, and this already looks like black is running out of moves a little bit. So what what is his move actually? Yeah, here I thought cd5, and I'm a pawn up. Isn't that the case? Hmm. Hmm. A bit mystified here. It looks like I'm a pawn up or not. CD5. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, maybe can he play knight d5 like a like some wild tactic? But opening up the position with all that holes looks kind of strange. Amazing. Really? <laughs> this is working? I don't believe it. Okay, bishop g7. Hmm. I, let, let's, I mean, bishop g7 is, is a very obvious continuation. It's just the question is something better? Okay, come on. This is just pretending to, to look for something else. Oh, wow. Uh, this I didn't even consider. Thought rook d1 is just is just toast. How is he not losing after rook d1? No, I, I don't see it. And this is a piece. Bishop takes rook takes his tempo on the queen. I cannot even take my bishop on e2. Uh, d5 looked um, looked very mistimed, especially in connection with g5. Nah, come on, don't tell me you're letting the clock run down now. <laughs> I really have something better to do. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I think that around here he should should do something else. I mean, I Black know. resigns. And yeah, now he does resign. Um, if we go back here, um, here, uh, sorry, before g5, this is definitely a normal theoretical position. It's not a very common um, variation that he played, but this this has been played. It's nothing, um, nothing terribly bad for Black. I don't know what they what they play. Do they play b5 here maybe really? Or knight d7, those kind of things. Yeah, this is definitely okay. Yeah, white can uh, black can play that. It looks a bit shaky because of this lack in development. And yeah, black has made many, many pawn moves, but there is no direct refutation inside. I probably would have played something like rook c1 or a3, b4, this kind of thing, stabilizing the sender, leading to a position like that. No, it's just slightly better for white, but nothing special. g5, however, hmm, I have my doubts. It really weakens quite a lot. And d d5, I think, is, is just not working. I believe. 
The computer wants to check with the C pawn, not with the E pawn. This is the computer line. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> now, and now here with a clear edge for white, 1.1. Yeah, it looks. This is also quite dreadful here, yeah? like here. But is there something bad with my continuation? I don't. Uh, no, it's also good. Also plus 0 0.9. So it's I'm not spoiling much. But here the comp wants to play rook 81, not cd5. Oh, interesting. The computer actually gives knight takes d5 as okay for black. Now that, that I cannot believe. I absolutely cannot believe that. 0 0.9. Made. Comp was on a slight edge for black. Uh, this 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 is simply not possible. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> with this kind of holes and so on, you cannot be better as black. I really don't don't think so. Huh, why is the bishop on g7 so strong? I was actually thinking that here I c well, maybe I cannot play that. I was thinking I could maybe just play play this, but. This might be. Uh, that's a funny evaluation. The computer actually evaluates this as slightly better for black with this bad king there on g8. <laughs> Pooh, that's uh, very strange. Mm. Maybe it's equal. I don't know. I, better for black, I cannot believe. And this is a mistake then, yeah. So he has to go. Yeah, then this is really, I mean, I understand. This is this is uh, definitely better. A lot better for black in comparison to, um, to the other way of capturing. So this was better. I'm um, sorry. Um, this was better. Or maybe after this, this, um, yeah, okay, I can, I can do this, but now I have to play rook 81. This, of course, makes lots of sense, yeah, putting the rook opposite uh, the queen. And this is, again, a pretty clear advantage for white. Yeah, okay, I did not, I did not see the complications correctly here. But this was, this was just um, blundering, it, blundering it away. I was thinking this would happen, but if you look at this, check. It's not very, uh, very, uh, very nice. F four maybe. This is the the comp line. I don't know if I would have played that, but there are many lines that uh, are very advantageous. So. Um, yeah, nothing probably that uh, would have posed a big problem. Also here, instead of, um, I mean, here, instead of, oops, instead of taking, there are also other moves like rook d1, for example. But okay, bishop h6 is certainly good. Okay, thanks for watching.